Welcome to a Millennial by 25 original series. Here we analyze young self-made millionaires and give our take on how much of the success was down to hard work or pure luck. We also evaluate how viable the industry, which made the millionaire most of his money, is and if you can hop on such trends. If you would love content like this, let us know in the comment section below and also drop the names of other young self-made millionaires you would love us to analyze their success. This series aims to provide you with motivation and proof that all your goals are valid and achievable because a lot of people are doing the same. If you're new here on this channel, we discuss everything business related, how to make money online, we review businesses, websites and apps, and finally, we discuss a little about investing and personal finance. So if all that sounds good to you, go ahead and smash that red subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be informed anytime we put out a new video. In today's Miracle vs Expected series, we will be covering Caleb Maddox, an 18-year-old self-made millionaire, entrepreneur, author, international keynote speaker, and a social media influencer with a net worth of $7.5 million. We are going to be analyzing his story based on the following metrics. Background, education, work ethics, industry he delved into, and finally, the viability of the industry that made him famous. We will be scoring every metric out of 10 and at the end, take an average. A low score would mean that his success was largely due to circumstances beyond his control. In other words, his success is a miracle, while a high score means that his success was largely due to hard work, ingenuity, careful planning, etc. In general, circumstances under his control, meaning that the success was more of an expected outcome. So. Was Caleb Maddis' success more of a miracle or an expected outcome? The answers are coming right here. Caleb was born on December 13, 2001 in Florida, United States. His family was by no means filthy rich, but they were comfortable. They had enough money to send him to school, even though they eventually chose to have him homeschooled. At an age of six, Caleb felt he wanted to play basketball and was quite dedicated to that cause until he changed his plans and decided to dive into the business world. Based on the metric of background, I think Caleb was extremely lucky to be born in a home that is financially stable with enough money to support his education. Most people don't get that much luxury. In fact, about 1.89 billion people live in poverty. That's well over 36% of the world's population. Thankfully, if you're watching this video, you're not one of them because obviously you can afford three square meals. You have a smartphone or a laptop and access to the internet. That's by the way. The point is, we didn't choose our families. So on that ground, we are all extremely lucky and that includes Caleb Maddox himself. 3 is the score I would award him here because his background was largely out of his control. Caleb Maddox attended a home grade school in Florida and he was in grade school where he began writing his book, Keys to Success for Kids. He was a homeschool 7th grader when it was published. Caleb is a firm believer in online education, particularly from motivational videos on YouTube. He was once quoted to have said, I'm not going to go to college. I have the network. I'm going to have my business built. While he completes his homeschool assignments, which his dad oversees, Caleb took online classes at Cardon University, run and taught by Grand Cardon. One thing that stood out in Caleb's education was his father's mentorship. His father, Matt Maddox, travels with him to speaking engagements and is an author and motivational speaker himself. Caleb said his dad had shaped his mindset on entrepreneurship. Caleb had a strong relationship with his dad and they did spend a lot of time together. When Caleb was much younger, Matt paid him $20 for every self-help book he read and wrote essays on. 
In this metric, there are a couple of arguments that can be made, but let's start from somewhere. I think he was extremely fortunate to have a dad that is more than willing to mentor him. But then, there are people too who get just as much mentorship from a young age and still do not do anything with it. Caleb's ability to get the most from the mentorship soak up most of the information from those books he read and apply them cannot be downplayed. On one hand, he was lucky to get a dad that gave him quality mentorship and on the other hand, all credits to him for taking the learning process very seriously. Whether or not online education is more valuable than the traditional education system is a topic for another video. On the grounds of his education, I'll give him a 5 out of a 10 and here is why. He was lucky to get a quality education but he was also diligent enough to take it very seriously. It is on this metric that I can take absolutely nothing away from Caleb. Even though Caleb had received criticisms regarding some of his sources of income, no one can question his dedication to his craft. Caleb is the co-founder and leader of Apex for Kids, which is the world's first ever relatable, entertaining, and powerful personal growth for kids. According to him, the mission of Apex is to change the way kids are educated and get kids addicted to learning. He's also the author of nine books and co-founded a book publishing company with his father, Matt Maddox, called Maddox Publishing. Now to publish nine books at age 18 is by no means a feat to dismiss in a hurry. It takes long hours to write a book and to have achieved all that despite not yet clocking 20 years of age is a huge fit. He has reached millions of people on social media by having dozens of viral videos including a single video that reached over 40 million people. Caleb was voted in the top 20 most motivational people on the planet as well as the top 30 entrepreneurs under 30. He has been featured in Forbes, Huffington Post, Incorporated Magazines, Success Magazines, Fox News, Entrepreneur Magazines, ABC News, and he has been on national and global television in front of 8 million people. Caleb has shared the stage with speakers like Gary, who is an online mentor of mine, Grant Cardon, Kevin Harrington, Darren Hardy, Tony Robbins, Russell Bronson, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone, Louis Hose, Jake Paul, and so on. He has been on over 53 million mission trips and is the co-founder of the nonprofit organization and movement, Maddox Mission. He is also the founder and CEO of Kids for Success. He reads an average of one book per week manages his establishment and finds time to travel with his dad for keynote speeches around the world. His work ethic is pretty solid and I would give him an 8. It's totally up to him to be diligent and hardworking and he chose to. So on those grounds, I think 8 is a good score. It is unarguable that a great deal of Kilimadix's empire revolves around the self-help industry. The self-improvement market is wide and encompasses a large variety of products and services which range from books to ebooks, online courses, coaching programs, webinars, academics, universities, masterminds, master classes, conferences, mobile apps, etc. Self-improvement industry statistics reported by market research states that by 2022 it will have an estimated growth of 13.2 billion dollars with 5.6 percent average yearly gains it is also projected that now more than ever people are focused on improving the quality of their lives by working on self-improvement and it is also reported that the millennials are the generation that is most interested in self-improvement I'll give my thoughts on this and here it is. I think the self-help industry recently exploded. Caleb was fortunate enough to be at the forefront of this industry. And the fact that his dad was into self-help and wasn't super rich 
further lends credibility to the argument that the self-help industry, just like online education, recently entered its up years. If you decide to get into the self-help industry today, given the fact that there is an estimated yearly gain of 5.6%, you are likely to make a profit. The only downside is that the self-help industry is a little crowded at this time and two great lifelines would be that you absolutely love self-help and you're passionate about changing the lives of people or you bring something new to the market just like Kilomatics. He focused on a group of people that were undeserved by the self-help industry, kids and teenagers. And that was part of what gave him his initial momentum. The self-help industry is quite a gold mine for those who seem to know their way into the industry. Caleb successfully made it into the industry at a prime age, which inevitably led to his stardom. Though, through the help of his dad, a couple of circumstances played in Caleb's favor. But we cannot rule out his ruthlessness in executing his goals. Caleb's average comes down to about 5.3 after taking the averages of 3 from background, 5 for education, and 8 for work ethic. An average score of 5.3 means that luck and hard work both played just about equal roles in the eventual outcome of his career so far. But do you agree? Let me know your thoughts about Caleb's rise to stardom in the comment section below. Also, drop other young entrepreneurs you want us to cover their story. I will do that soonest. Continue to believe in your dreams and I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.